It is July 2022, which is weird to say because that's one, not very long ago, and two, I remember playing this game when July 2022 was seven years in the future, eight years in the future. I don't know how long I've been playing Software Inc. on the channel. I should go look that up at some point, but it's definitely been a while. So it's weird that July 2022 is now in the past, but this is the month when we're going to sit down and start working, hopefully, on getting ourselves a console out the door. I don't know why I say hopefully, because I'm just going to go ahead and do it. We're going to do a console operating system. It is going to need to be manufactured. We're also going to have to do controllers. We're also going to have to design it. So we can do an old console. We can do a new console. Honestly, I think we go with the new one, sort of Xbox... What one was this Xbox One looking thing? I think is what this kind of is. That's a bit odd looking as well. Can I get something that's a little, I don't know, something a bit less weird looking would be really good. I don't like the, ah, that's sort of what I'm looking for. I don't like the, I don't like the top curve. I don't want a curve on the top of it. I don't want a curve in the bottom of it. It kind of makes no sense. This is basically the Xbox One X, I think. I don't remember exactly. Um, the middle can sort of stay in the middle. Can I have, what does a taper do? Oh, it, it's not, okay, I don't really mind that either. We'll sort of have it like this. That's totally fine. Can I change the step down a little bit? We'll kind of keep the steps as they are. We'll make it a little bit thinner. And then the middle mod, the bend, the roundness. We could go for rounded edges. Um, you know what? I... I don't know if I like the rounded edges. I think I like it being kind of kind of kind of sharp like that. Looks pretty good to me. Controller insert. Can we can we do something about that? Bring it out a little bit, bring it back just ever so slightly. We do have a middle width in there. I think. Controller insert middle width right there. Let's go for something kind of like this. And I think that's fine. The colors for this thing I'm going to keep relatively simple. We're going to go for sort of a just a black on black. I think the base of it could maybe be more of a gray. Maybe we flip that though. Maybe the maybe the top part is more of a sort of grayish color. And then the tertiary is going to be sort of a nice darker color right there. Secondary is all of the accents. I'm very tempted by a light blue because Nerdersoft, obviously we have sort of that light blue in our, in a lot of our stuff. And I think honestly that is... That is probably fine. I think this this kind of works. We're not going to skew it. We're not going to taper it. It is... There's a height option in there, though. Let's see if I can find that. It was definitely there for a second. That is... Is that it in there? That is the height. We can make it shorter. I don't think I will. I think we'll keep just a nice tall console. And that seems good. So that's what we're going for in terms of design. In terms of manufacturing, uh, it's going to be based on all of this. So... Obviously, we want networking. We want auto updates, cloud storage. We're not going to do an app store this time. None of that. We'll do system recovery. We'll do user accounts this time. We'll do removable drives, wireless communications, standardized input. We can do notifications. We can do themes. And we will do surround sound. And that's about all I want for now. And that's that's something we can expand on. It means we're going to need quite a few printers, but only three assemblers which is completely fine by me. So I guess we go ahead and start making all of this. So let's, uh, oh boy, <laughs> here goes, the, here goes this whole thing again. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure I can look at the requirements for it after the fact. I think I'm going to assume I can look at the requirements after the fact. So we'll close this for now. 280 It's going to be cheaper than the phone. Let's do 250 for the console. And then the, the, the name for this thing is going to be tricky. I haven't really thought of this. Saturn box. Ooh, Saturn is nice. I did have a Sega Saturn as a kid. And it does sort of tie into the Astro phone. Ooh, it is. It's. You know what? We're just going to call it the Saturn is, is what we're going to do. Because then we might have the Saturn 5. And that sounds pretty cool as well. So that's fine. New framework. It is going to be just NOS again. Um, because... It's the Nerdersoft operating system. We're sort of unifying all of our stuff under the one banner for the operating systems. Uh, joystick, absolutely. It's going to be called the... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> the Saturn... You know, just Saturn controller 
is what we'll go for. That's fine. It's going to have vibration. No built-in speakers. Don't care about that. Wireless. Don't care about RGB lighting. We'll do motion detection. Although it does... Let's see. There's nothing for security on here. Everything else is kind of maxed out. I could bring... We'll give it a bigger battery. That seems like a good idea. And it's going to be 100. Let's make that 75. Source controls development. Manufacturing we'll look at. Design teams, we're going to say none right now. Because we're not really too worried about that. And then the look of this thing, I mean... Let's, let's, ooh, that is very Xbox looking, isn't it? That's, that's definitely, definitely sort of an Xbox controller. Um, let's, can I just make the thing shorter? I also don't know if I want the curve up there. So that's the, that's the bump. That's that part. That's fine. That's the height of it. So we'll make it a little bit shorter. We can sort of curve the sides a little bit there. We can sort of skew it or not skew it. We can sort of bend it down or not bend it down. That's the handles. We'll bring those down a little bit. Can I? There's kind of what I'm looking for. Make it a little bit more round. Is that more round or is that less round that I've done there? Oh, that's, yeah, that's more round. That's that's kind of what we're looking for. A little bit wider as well, I think. And then we've got the corners. We'll sort of smooth those. We can skew the top ever so slightly inwards. I'm basically making an X, uh, Xbox controller is, is what I'm doing. And I'm sort of okay with that. Okay, so with this thing designed, we'll hit okay. We'll start developing it. No one's competent. That's fine. When it comes to the console itself, we are just going to look at the market. We are going to go and apply all of this. So market will be really satisfied with simplicity, I guess, is, is what we're looking for. Simplicity is way down here. Security is way down here. That's fine. Make it nice and simple. And it should be all right. It's going to take approximately three years. We're not going to be assigning it to anybody right now, which is completely fine. We'll figure out what teams are going to do this shortly, and we will... Uh, develop the chosen framework name is not valid or already exists really oh you know what nerdrasoft os c operating system console is what we'll go for on this one and that'll be fine so start developing this thing no one's competent that's fine we will pause we will sort of close everything here and can i look at my manufacturing for this thing is that is that a thing i can do Manufacturing, I absolutely can. Fantastic. All right. So this is the console itself. Yeah, so this is for Saturn. And then we have the joystick here, which we can look at as well, the Saturn controller. So let's get this going. We are going to need uh, six printers going into one assembler. So let's make that happen. Let's make it nice and daytime so I can actually see what I'm doing. And very simply, it is going to be six printers into one assembler. So it was, I want to say, we need like four in the middle. So let me try this. Let me leave a gap right at the back. And we'll try and figure this out. So set the output. We're doing a console. It is going to be antenna. And then I think the other one was device. And then these guys were going to be controllers. I think that's what it wanted. Can I have a look at Saturn? Uh, I want to look at project details, manufacturing. It was one for one. That's perfect. And then the other one we can deal with shortly. So two assemblers. We'll deal with that is what we'll do. But back in here for now, because we need to uh, need to make sure that this is all accessible. So basically all of this needs to merge into a single line which is going to be an absolute nightmare but we'll we'll figure it out i think the easiest way to do that is going to be bring this all down and then bring it this way we can i'm going to try and keep this as compact as i can make it it's not necessarily going to be super efficient but i'm going to try and keep it nice and compact because if i do it this way what i can do is i can put another conveyor belt there and i can go and say give me a couple of assemblers and then if I set these assemblers up properly, that's going to be the motherboard. So these guys all feed into this. They're all accessible, which is great. And then the next step of this, can I view the manufacturer? Oh, I can view this in here. So the next one is plastics and drive base. We need four of them. And that goes into two assemblers as well. We have space for four right here. We don't necessarily have room. I don't have the space I'd like, but I think we'll give it a shot and see what we can do. So component printers... I don't want to put them against the wall. I'm not going to lie. I'd like to avoid doing that. But I think just for the sake of space, that's maybe what we're going to have to do. 
and then these guys all need to go into a couple of uh, assemblers as well. So we'll do it this way. We'll get ourselves another splitter, which does stick through that wall. So you know what? We'll do it the other way is what we'll do. We'll spin these guys around. Have you go there. Have this guy here. And then we'll do ourselves another conveyor belt like this. We will get ourselves another couple of assemblers like this. And then this guy is going to be set up for the case. How many did we need for everything else? I need to stop closing all of this. So manufacturing, it's two and two. So we can manage, we can absolutely manage two and two. So if I go to here, I want to set you guys as plastic. I want to set you guys as drive bays. And I want to set you guys as the case. And then final assembly is one assembler for all of these guys. So what I'm going to have to do is try and line a lot of this up just for the sake of it. These guys are all going to be elevated, I want to say. So we'll get a couple of these. And go one, two, three, four. We will do exactly the same thing on this side as well. So copy you. We'll do this. I don't know if I want to bring them down right about here. I might just keep them sort of elevated until they're properly across just because I can. So something like that kind of works. I could just keep them elevated and merge them actually. Maybe that's the way to do it. Is we just elevate them, bring them all down, put them into an assembler over here and we're good to go. I don't know if this is going to be enough for everything but we could we can definitely try and see what happens so i think maybe that is just what we do we go and grab this we bring it down bring you guys across lower it all down into a single assembler and then it is pretty much good to go although let me see how is this gonna work how am i how am i gonna do this so i need you to be there i need you to go there and you to go there so these do loop around. You can go away. I'll bring you back. And then if I do this right, what I can have happen here, I mean, these guys are going to need to feed into a... It's sending in components to an invalid location. That's... Oh, I need the assembler. I'm an idiot. Okay, hold on. I'm getting slightly carried away here. Um, my idea, though, is that what we do... So if I get rid of you guys... We have this final component assembler, right? So it goes here. We say final assembly. So they're all fitting together. We can then do a component recycler. And then, uh, let me see. Just for the sake of keeping things nice and easy, I want to elevate this. Do I have a... I have a thing in the way, don't I? Okay. Put this guy here. This, this is going to make sense. I swear this... So this gets elevated you can go away you get dropped down the reason i want all this feeding around like this is because what i can do is basically feed my controller production line from this side onto this belt so that all the console stuff goes to this side of the warehouse that pretty much frees up this entire floor which admittedly we could just we could use this space but i'm going to try and keep the entire console up here because that seems like a great idea so this is all set up now that is our console let me very quickly look at the Saturn project or the controller project, which needs a lot of things. It needs a lot of things. I'm not going to make you watch it. We'll go ahead and just skip forward. Let me get this done nice and quickly. And so now we happen to have everything that we need, hopefully. All of this orange stuff and this side is for the console. This side is for the controller. It all feeds down to this side of the building. And that now means that all we happen to need are some teams to deal with all of the demands that we have for this. So we'll go ahead and assign our console team to both of these. We're going to need to make a night shift team for the consoles as well, which is completely fine. We'll manage to do that. And if we have a look just very quickly at the manufacturing, I'm, yeah, we're completely capable of doing this, which is fantastic news. So we now need to equip our console team with the ability to, well, do this. So let's get started very quickly. Let's sort by name. Let's go to my console team. Let me rename you to console team uh, day shift, and that'll be fine. Let me set up HR management. We're going to give you guys $5 million, handle wages, handle complaints. Role selection is... What did I set up for the phone team is my question. Did I do anything with role selection? Best then secondary. Okay. So if the console team will do the same thing, it is going to be best, then secondary. 
we are going to fully train them we'll say i don't know eight at a time and then how do we want to split this so it doesn't need art which is fine i don't remember what the split was really so i guess we just do we do 10 uh designers as we did before and then i think it was 19 programmers and then the team leader is in one of the offices as well specializations is pretty much everything which is totally fine and then traits will be this and then salaries will be high so that should keep us good that will give us everything we need for the uh the console team day shift we want to copy this name oh hold on that's that's fine uh copy rename to console team night shift and basically just assign them to the building get some team leaders get some people in here and then away we go we can start making some consoles and there we go we have ourselves a console team in here doing their thing they're all going to be going to their respective offices which is great we've got the controller being worked on really nicely we have the controller is going to take no time to design so you know what make that a lower priority on the design than the console itself that's good though because that's that's what we want to see i'm also thinking it might not be a bad idea to get ourselves another is, what is this oh it's someone with a deal okay i didn't realize that the uh the people with like deals would actually park you know and, and have like the logo on the roof of the car that's really it's really cool do i want to do another multi-story parking lot i feel like it might not be a bad idea we could buy out like this spot or just buy out this parking lot and turn that into one i do like the idea of doing another little little park but we have no need for it so i think realistically i think i'm just gonna buy this lot and turn it into a uh, turn it into a parking lot because that just we just kind of need one, I think. We need uh, need a little bit more parking over here. Although I am going to do... I'm going to do some bike racks on the ground. And I might actually... Let's have a little bit of fun here. Take all of this out. Can I do a ramp that goes up this way? I can. And then above this, let me do some parking, some parking, and some parking. Let me do a road. Ooh, wait. No, I can't go any higher than that. I was going to be clever and try and go up here, but I can't really do what I wanted to do unless I just... Well, you know what? I'm not too worried about it being perfect. It's a multi-story parking lot. It doesn't need to be pretty. So we'll do this. We'll go up again. We'll do some parking up here. Can I go any higher with this? No, that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's... that's um, Yeah, I'm okay with that. And then down here, honestly, this is where I'm going to build just like a little park thing. Just for the, uh, just for the hell of it, really. So we'll just sort of run these around... Build something something like that we can't really do anything too crazy in the middle unfortunately so i think this will be all right and then what we'll do is get ourselves some of these guys and i'm just gonna do just a regular little garden thing here in the middle which you can't build below or less than two floors above roads okay well this is fine i'm i'm happy enough with this we've got some paths down there so it just looks nice and that'll be good that just seems like a it seems like a good investment right we have a lot of people going to be working in this building and that seems like uh something we want to stay on top of i'm also keenly aware that my staff my cleaning staff i only have four of them so let me hmm let me just hire a bunch more so let me go let me let me double it for now we'll bring in a couple more we'll set we'll sort by type real quick we'll go like this so we have more coming in at eight we'll have a few more coming in here and i might hire i'm gonna get two more that are gonna come in a little bit later than this i'm gonna say they can come in at uh 4 p.m leave at 8 p.m that's not really what i'm looking for i think we need hmm maybe they come in at 8 p.m they leave at midnight maybe they come in at 10 p.m leave it to just try and clean the place up a little bit i think that's actually what we're gonna do we'll bring in another couple right there just to make sure the place is nice and clean at the end of the day because what i've noticed is that there's just dirt everywhere also my middle mouse button is dying interesting this would be like the second or third time i've had a mouse die the middle mouse button specifically when playing software inc and it's always the same brand i'm not gonna say what brand because i actually really like the the their their products so I don't want to be like, oh, they're terrible. But um, yeah, the middle mouse button's a little fragile on, on the, the brand of mouse that I, I like to use. Anyway, Doors 2 is so close to being, uh, to going into beta. So 
we might want to look at we might want to look at this doors it's a computer operating system what have we got coming out next year we have a console operating system in may we have a phone operating system there you know what let's just do let's just do let's do let's do april let's do april actually we'll just do may it's gonna be may so market we're gonna say 2023 we're gonna say may we'll announce it that'll be fine uh we'll do we'll do a press build we'll or a press build and a press release move that up to here and uh you know what we want to hype this thing as well let's get that going make that a bit of a priority as well and we'll see how that goes let's speed things up we've got kingdom guardians it's coming along we've got this update for sweet pro which is taking its sweet time i think that's a pun that i accidentally made in the last episode and didn't acknowledge it wasn't intentional but you know what it was a good one so i'm acknowledging it now i'm pretty sure i said that if i didn't say it then you know i'm saying it now it's fine you know i've realized doors 2 is gonna be another tough one it was it started development almost 10 years ago so it is gonna be releasing super super out of date kind of similar to sweet pro i don't love that i'm gonna be honest that's that's it's not good <laughs> that that's the case but it just it is what it is let's see how we're doing with sweet pro it's not making money it has sold a lot of units to be fair like it's doing it's doing all right i mean it's way down there actually so it's not really doing that good but it's you know it's it's selling oh hold on a minute it's sold okay there's there's only a quarter of those people actually using it though okay so, <laughs> all right then well fair enough uh astrophone is coming along it still hasn't really made a profit which has me concerned i guess manufacturing costs in astrophone are going to be going to be holding it back a little bit there are some updates we can do to it as well which might actually be a really good idea bring the systems up to date as well and we'll just throw the we'll throw the phone team at this and let them kind of work on the uh, on the updates and the bugs because i'm realizing the phone team is currently working on doors i'm going to take them off of doors the core team can finish that project the phone team can work on astro phone and we have the console team doing their thing as well so we have these major these major projects going on right now that i'm really excited about all these bug fixes for astrophone as well i'm hoping it's going to really push the sales back up and get people happy about it uh we could also probably reasonably start developing the saturn controller it's not going to go out anywhere but you know that's all right <laughs> that's is what it is let's do a maximum hundred uh thousand on the uh on the saturn controller right there and that'll be totally fine i'm not really not really in any rush to uh to get that thing out the door let's just give it to my where are my console teams there you guys are give it to you guys you can work on it as much as you want to work on it again absolutely no rush the uh the console's still in the design phase so plenty of time and you know i say that and it's 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 done in a month they've they've done the controller so we'll promote that <laughs> we'll, we'll promote that into beta and uh they can just keep working on it because again the this thing's gonna take a little while and that's that's totally fine it's uh it's good i'm 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 feeling like we're in a really good place with the company we're at 800 million dollars 21 million last month is not bad five million of that was in uh in hardware which is great and i'm sure we have some deals we have you know a nice hosting deal right here i'm sure we probably have a manufacturing deal or two yeah these guys want me to manufacture i mean i could by may 2023 manufacture 400,000. how many can it do a month 360 oh all right um i mean yeah I'll take it they're gonna give me 93 per copy so yeah we'll try it we'll throw out an assembly line and see what happens and see if i can actually do it we'll pay attention to this as well and see you know what ends up being in storage currently per month is zero wait a minute do i <laughs> wait a minute i do have an assembly line for this right can i put it on that there we go it's i don't think it's printing i don't i don't feel like it's printing right now <laughs> uh assign to that assembly line there we go all right so that should be all right now so if we look yeah storage is here 
Okay. Suddenly I'm less concerned. I just didn't have it assigned to anything, which is all right. So basically, yeah, we're just, we're getting money by just printing someone else's product. I think it's like, it costs us like, we're getting like 16 bucks per, because I think it's like eight eighty dollars to make the thing. And then, yeah, that seems like the way to go. I'm going to be honest. I definitely, oh, wow, look at this. So now this is probably all going to back up, right? Yeah. Okay. I might need more couriers is, uh, is what I'm thinking here. And I might need, ooh, finished printing jobs for two of those at once. What have we got going out next year? So February is going to be wave 14. May is going to be canvas eight. March is going to be vector eight. Good Lord. All right. Oh, and then we also have Hellshock 3 in, in June. So this year we have four releases again. That's potentially going to be really, really big for the company. And that makes me really, really happy. We're also doing a great job with this uh, print job or manufacturing job right here. We are going to have plenty of those done and we're going to hopefully be in a good place with all of that. I did have to hire a few more couriers. We should have them coming in at some point to pick things up somewhere, I think. I've got no idea. I don't see any, which is all right. I did assign these parking spaces out here to be for couriers now as well. So really, it's it's no major rush. Uh, so Saturn controllers coming along nicely. We've had people retiring left and right. We've got com employees complaining about things left and right, which is pretty standard these days. This Hellshock port is taking forever, which is really frustrating. But let's see, Astrophone did get its update. It didn't really sell much more and it's really struggling to make that profit. Let me bring, let me bring the price down from 299 to 275. We'll knock a little bit off of it. I don't know if that's a good idea. That probably is going to do the opposite of what I'd like it to do, but that's okay. It's, <laughs> it's all right. Uh, doors uh, two, actually, we need to start printing you. Let me do 125,000 as per usual, just to make sure that uh, hopefully, you know, it does all right. We'll send out a press build as well. I'm really not expecting a miracle from that one. I've got to be honest. And King Doom Guardians, finally. Okay, all right, <laughs> all right, um, develop, I guess. We're not gonna start marketing it, there's no point. We'll just keep the, uh, we'll keep that core team working on it and hopefully it'll end up in a good place at some point. Oh, wave 14 has gone out. It is outstanding, it is inspiring. We are gonna want to start printing. We'll do 125,000 copies as per usual, which is great. And I guess we wanna have a look at, uh, it's, I love this. I love, I love that it's just regular money. The last one did 181 million, which is now the most profitable thing we've ever done. The one before it was the third most profitable thing we've ever done. This, this is the start of a really solid 2023. We might make more money this year than we did in 2021. Maybe, 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 maybe. Cause we are getting started a little bit earlier. So there's, there's a chance, but Let's immediately look at porting this thing to absolutely everything. So over to you for sure. Let's maybe make that a top priority over the Hellshock 2 port just to make sure that we can hopefully hopefully get this guy over there that little bit sooner. Not sure why my porting team isn't doing anything. They might be on vacation, which is fair enough, I suppose. Uh, how did we do? 5.9. I'll take it. That's That's kind of great. That is absolutely kind of great. Vector fell off though. Good Lord. That's a little depressing. Hellshock 2 still doing really good money though. So yeah, I, I feel like we're in a good place. I do. I feel like we're in a really, really good place with, uh, with Nerdersoft right now. Oh, and just like that, Vector 8 has gone out. It is inspiring. It is outstanding. It's going to get printed as per usual. This, oh man, I'm actually really, <laughs> I, I am really excited about, uh, about what we've got going on here. Let's make sure you're getting ported to everything as well, just to make sure that we have as many active users as we can manage. We are a little bit slow on these porting tasks these days, though. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. We're starting to uh, starting to fall behind, which admittedly is probably partly because of the fact. Hold on a minute. How did we do in Vector 8? We did uh, not make that much money, actually, which is worrying, but I, I have to wonder if part of the issue is if we look at our options here, what are we doing? 
So our update duration is 24 months. We're doing updates every three. Let's change it so we're updating every six. So we maybe drop, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm hoping that what this does is it means that we'll finish the update sooner. We're, we're basically, eh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping it means less tasks overall, basically, is, is what I'm thinking. This one gets supported for quite a while. The 2D editors, I'm gonna drop those down to two year support rather than three. Antivirus is updating every two months. Change that to six for sure. Good Lord. Uh, 3D editors, same thing every six months for three years. Let's drop that down to two years as well. And then for Hellshock, it is two year support every six months. And we'll see if that helps. We'll see if that maybe sort of turns things around a little bit. It might help my, uh, my support team relax and my porting teams and all that stuff. I don't know. It might just give them fewer tasks and they might stop stressing about it. You know, I totally forgot it was coming up to May. So this month we have Canvas 8 and Doors 2. In June, we have Longsword 13 and Hellshock 3. We are going to have, I think, six releases this year. So let's get Doors 2 out the door. We have a press build out. That's fine. The price. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's I'm assuming it's recommending a lower price because this is something that we've been developing for 10 years. I don't want to bring the price down that much. I'll bring it down to 99 because they're probably going to tell me that it's super outdated. Yeah, said in the last decade. That's fine. Marketing budget 65,000 is fine. We can make this work. We're going to pause. We're going <laughs> to we're going to pause. Uh, what can I cancel support for? So Astrophone's doing great. Hellshock's doing great. We're still supporting Hellshock. Wow, okay. Um, Sweet Pro. Yeah, we're still supporting a lot of things. Okay. Bring Doors 2 up here. Make that a top priority. And immediately, we just need to, we need to update this. I need to kind of throw everybody at this project. Because this is going to take about a year currently with just the phone team. So give me my console team and give me my core team. And that's going to take still about a year. Oh boy. We're basically... Re <laughs> so Doors 2 is going to flop is what that tells me. Because this update is going to be too little too late. <laughs> that's, that's basically what that means. Uh, let me move this update up to here so I can keep track of it at the top of the screen. Support is fine. That's really disappointing. That is, that is really, it's quite disappointing. It's quite upsetting. It's, it's going to take a while. Uh, Canvas 8 is outstanding. It's inspiring. Doors 2 is ordinary. That's fine. Oh man. one two five zero zero zero. That's all right. Doors 2, same thing. We'll get those all in stock eventually. Oh man. I'm not happy about that. I mean, I don't, it's what I expected. I'm, I'm by no means sitting here saying like, oh, how did this happen? I know how this happened. It took me forever to develop this thing. So of course it's going to be sort of disastrous. It's just a little disappointing. It's just a little bit disappointing that it's wound up like this. <laughs> it's, it's just, it, it is what it is, man. It, it is what it is. It needs to make some money. Astro, we're starting to struggle in the marketing here as well. Let's see, minus 45. 6,000. <laughs> no one's buying Doors 2 as it's way too expensive. Uh, I don't want to change the price because eventually the tech level is going to be worth it. I think we take a chance. I think we update it to modern standards. And if that works, then we keep the price where it is. If it doesn't work, we're going to cut the price to like $40. And then maybe... Maybe that'll do it. We've been nominated again, and of course we are the best employer. We've got best products. We do. It's Canvas 8. And most profitable product is not me. Longsword 12. That's totally fine. We're not going to bother putting those up right now because I'm really not too worried about it. We do have a lot of porting to go. We have released a lot of things. We had Hellshock go out. It's outstanding. It's inspiring. It hasn't had any sales yet because it went out this month. We had Longsword, it's outstanding, it's inspiring, no sales, because again, it went out this month. Canvas 8 did 6.1 million last month. 
we got 4.9 from wave 14 so we are still turning quite a few millions of dollars it's just that it kind of turns out that my whole thing of like oh it might be the biggest year ever for nerdversoft was uh, overly ambitious however we can update doors too and we'll see how that goes let's now go and port vector 8 as a top priority and see if we can't maybe get that going really nice and quickly and we did just make some money we did 25 million where do we get that from hellshock 3 past month 4.5 5.3 from longsword 5.8 here doors 2 did just turn 1.6 million so that might have worked it has prominent marketing that that might have worked we we might have salvaged this and i'm also curious to see can i now port things to doors because i wasn't able to originally if i sort by release date yeah so we're gonna start moving things onto doors as well because for a moment there i wasn't doing that and i think we're gonna try to get as many things onto that operating system as we possibly can so vector is gonna need to go to doors 2 wave 14 is gonna need to go to uh doors 2 sweet pro is gonna need to go to doors 2 and that's fine so there's a lot of porting there's there's so much to be done down here i do need to sort of lower the priorities on pretty much all of these and we'll go one by one with priority 10. so vector 8 is kind of the priority port right now and i'm gonna be honest i might get rid of the current port team that we have for the day shift the the current uh where are they i have no idea where they are honestly they're yeah, up, up here the day shift for the porting and updating team is just not good like they're really they are really bad and uh it is making things really painfully slow alternatively i could just do another porting team and just have them somewhere else in the in the company they're not going to be in this building by any means but we do we do have space over here that i could maybe turn into we could build like a little office in here for another porting team and i wouldn't be against doing that because technically port team 2 could also have a night shift version so we could really speed up our ports and our updates i might do it we could also get another marketing team which i think i'm gonna need because uh, all of this is really really slow let's just not worry sweet actually i think sweet pro is starting to turn a profit i don't think it's ever gonna break even but it did make money last month it sold 2.3 million units it's up there as one of our best selling things so yeah suddenly i'm i'm curious to see how this all goes uh i will say i think having a really highly skilled porting team just working on stuff i assign them to is going to be good because this team is not only porting they are also updating and they're updating as a part of all these projects so let's let's go for it let's just get ourselves a uh let's get ourselves an office in here it's you know i was going to use this as a, as a as a different kind of space but it's all right and i think what we'll do is something like this we'll do something like this i want to just get another door right about here and i'll put a nice sort of big door here so we'll just have this little hallway i'm also going to need some uh some lights for all of this so give me utilities give me this light right here can i swing this around and put it in the middle of that room apparently not can i turn it that way i can can i get that on all of the floors because it is very dark in that space there we go let's do that the entire way up the building just to brighten that up and then in here we'll just do one and two and that'll keep that nice and bright as well so this will be the uh this will be the development space i do think we're going to want to get ourselves an office for a team leader so let's do something like this and i think that'll be okay we can do a nice door right about here and you know i'm gonna give the team leader for this one the uh the frosted windows just because and there we go we have ourselves a dedicated porting team and i've got a day shift and a night shift for these guys it is just a porting team that i'm gonna just manually assign to things here and there both of them are set up with uh hr and all that good stuff hr management doesn't seem like it wants to actually fill out the teams right now which is a bit frustrating but i guess we're just hiring a bunch of people so we're gonna have to wait for everything to uh to update but at the very least having these dedicated porting teams does mean that i can go in and say okay 
we'll keep the the porting and update team to you know deal with the the automated stuff but then everything else can just go through these teams and it is so much quicker doing it this way now are these teams starting to fill out they are there's now 12 people on it that's one leader and 11 uh system programmers or whatever we want to call them so we should see vector 8 hit doors 2 pretty quickly which is what we're seeing now i haven't assigned these guys to anything else i'm sort of going to go down the list and see what i can do i think hellshock 3 i kind of want that to be a bit of a priority so we'll go ahead and do exactly that and it's it's not a quick process but it is going to seven operating systems so it'll get there and i think reasonably what i'm going to do is just put these guys on everything else everything else is relatively low priority anyway so they'll focus on the hellshock ports and then you know wave 14 can be uh handled at some point as well in fact i might even go so far as saying let's do the wave 14 port first since it's only going to doors 2 it really won't take all that long to uh to make that happen and speaking of doors 2 1 1.3 1.3 here as well we're doing pretty well on saturn it's almost ready for its alpha stage doors 2 1.6 million i'm okay with that honestly i it could be worse we're also about to be a billion dollar company we did 26 million last month 39 million with software oh man i'm really really pleased i'm really pleased that we managed to get nerdrasoft to be a billion dollar company before i retired as well that's that's kind of nice i'm i'm quite happy about that one that's uh you know we maybe didn't get the console out the door but we did get it designed it'll probably hit the alpha stages as well relatively quickly so i think i think we've done good here i think we've done really really good with uh with old nerdrasoft which makes me really really happy let's go ahead and get my porting team working on the uh the sweet pro port job as well which is gonna take some time but at the very least i can go through and get all this done which is great got some people going on vacation that's fine let me uh oh man i'm i'm starting to because we're automating everything i'm starting to kind of lose track of what i'm doing and what i should be doing it's uh it's weird but i don't know progress is progress and it's it's definitely feeling pretty good that we're getting all this done i do think we should maybe consider another marketing team i think that would definitely be an idea just getting a little something something in here for uh for that to happen oh doors too up to uh up to two million in profits now can't be bad to that and we are a billion dollar company look at that look at that 43 million in software sales last month what happened there how did we do that so 4 million on hellshock 3 4.5 and longsword 13 7.9 on canvas 8 2 million on doors 2 it has now made a profit which is great the original doors uh did also make a profit so it's nothing to it's nothing great astrophone and sweet pro both losing money though i don't like that i don't i don't like that that's what's going on but it's just it just it just is what it is really it's uh sweet being subscription based might not have been a great idea i think we are just gonna have to automate that to be quite honest with you i think that's kind of just the way that'll that'll work but uh a billion dollars a billion dollar company we have a billion in the bank we're worth 1.3 billion my subsidiary didn't they did they release anything recently they did they put out the two games last year 79 million in profit 64 million in profit so so they're doing all right they have almost a million active users in this rts they're just a little bit slow is the problem they uh well a turnaround of three years isn't bad it'd be nice if they spaced it out a little bit what, what else have they got going on so they've got more games coming up they got goat clans two more games in uh 2025 interesting they also don't have a lead designer now apparently which is fair enough yeah i'm okay with that i'm i'm completely okay with that let me have a look at the stocks are you guys you guys selling anything else right now no that's all right oh no this is interesting an employee is stinking up the place after a brisk bike ride to work i should build showers that is pretty much everyone working in this building as well so i think what we'll do i was thinking this would be a space for a new marketing team 
but I think what it's actually going to be is a space for some showers. So let's see if we can do a little something, something like this and a little something, something like this and a little something, something like this. And then what we'll do is throw some doors. I'm going to take this door out actually and replace it with one right in the middle just so it's all spaced out a bit nicer. And then we'll go in, we'll get ourselves a bathroom. And this is going to just solve a few problems, really, because we did have some people complaining about not being able to find a bathroom. So we'll do we'll do some sinks and then we'll also get ourselves some showers just up on uh, up on these walls. And hopefully that's going to help things out. We'll get ourselves some nice lights in here as well. So one, two and three. And I would like to I'd like to change the styles of the bathrooms in this uh, in this building. I think that'd be a really good idea. So let's just see what we can do. Materials, interior. Let's do this. We'll do like the wood paneling, or maybe we'll just do the we'll just do the tiles. We'll keep it simple. And then we'll do uh I don't know, some tiles on the floor as well, I think. Maybe the small ones. I could change the scale of them though, now that I think about it. Interior, let me do. Do I want to do the pink? I think we'll do this. I think we'll do the do the gray. And then the floor is gonna be. Let's see, if I scale that up a little bit, can I get it to roughly the same size? That's that's kind of getting there. Definitely, definitely getting there. Those are maybe a little bit too big. Let's just go with like that right there for the scale and we'll make them. Uh, we'll do that with it. I think that looks pretty good. So now I guess we just wait and see if people are actually going to use the showers. Do we still have the complaints? We do. We absolutely still have the complaints. I mean, we we have the showers. Everyone's allowed to access the showers. It just doesn't seem like anybody's going to access the showers, which is a little bit frustrating, but eh, it is what it is, I suppose. Let's uh, let's keep these uh, these port jobs going down here. Let's get Canvas 8 moving along to a couple of different uh, operating systems as well. And I'm just not going to worry about my employees stinking up the place. It's kind of a... That's not a non-issue, but it's definitely a, it's, it's, you know, they'll shower when they're ready to shower, I guess, is, is what they'll do. I'm really not gonna, not gonna rush it too much. Now, let's see. Saturn is ready to develop, so let's get that moving, and let's assign that to my, my console team. Hopefully, it isn't gonna take too long to get this thing done. The hardware side's going really nicely, but we'll see. We'll see how the rest of that goes. I have a lot of money due in taxes. Good lord. Um, we're doing it quite nicely. I'm going to crunch the teams a little bit, though. Just to, uh, just to make sure that, uh, you know, just to make sure it gets done, I think, is, is how we're going to look at this. Just to make sure that it gets done. It is going quite slowly, so we'll, we'll definitely crunch them until, like, the halfway mark. Because I really don't want to have to pay a fine. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of taxes, but we've made a lot of money. We are a billion dollar company, so it's only right that we, you know, maybe uh, be a little bit responsible about that. What do you mean I failed the fire inspection? Where? Where did I? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was very particular. I made sure at one point to put some. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right, <laughs> this game, this game is gonna, uh, well, we're fine now. We are fine now. Can I, can I call the fire inspector back, please? Is that a, I'd like to, <laughs> uh, you know what? Call the fire inspector, get back here, you. We're not, <laughs> we're not, we're not done here. We've, uh, <laughs> I hate, I hate that. God, I hate that every single time. It's so, it's so frustrating. I also forgot that we are still porting uh, Sweet Pro. So we'll focus on that and then do the canvas port just to make sure that everything's good on that front. There is no level one 2D artist working on Saturn to finish themes, which will impede the progress. Really? That's, I'm an idiot. I didn't, I don't think I put any artists on my, on my console team, did I? Oh, that might be a problem. Um, do I have artists on my phone team? No. Do I need art? I don't know if I need them. Um, okay. We do have, hold on a minute. They're just not assigned. Oh. 
Okay, that makes sense. HR management, best and secondary, best roles. Let's do best roles rather than best and secondary. And we'll see if that fixes things. Because right now there's no artists working on anything, but if they're good at art, then they should be allowed to art, is my thinking. Right? That's how we're looking at this. Apparently it hasn't updated though, which is fair enough. Oh boy. Um, employees, I want to look at your skills. I don't really care about your information right now. Art skills, we have you. What can you do? Can you, can you do, you can do 2D art. You can do 2D art. You can do 2D art. Okay. Can I set like you guys as artists as well? And that has fixed that problem. Okay. I don't know if me taking over that's going to mess with the HR stuff, but that's that's kind of how it's going to be. And then you guys are all going to be set as artists as well. So change your roles to artist. And that should get the art moving a little bit, a little bit slowly, but a little bit regardless for Saturn. We might have to assign some, some other teams to work on that and then restructure things a little bit with the console. But progress is progress. I... I made a mistake. I'm willing to admit it. We'll fix it it's soon enough. Everything will be okay. You know, I've just noticed that Sweet Bro has thousands of bugs that we might want to look into. So let's let's go through and bring everything on that up to date. We got a nice 2D editor on this. Honestly, not really worried about uh, about licenses. So we'll just Electro Pasta Industries. Okay, that's a, that's a name choice. Uh, and this is going to be doing 2D audio, and it is the office team. So basically. We can probably just put the office team on this. I'm not 100% sure that they're going to do it, but we'll we'll give them a shot. It maybe should be my update team as well. Just these guys to make it go a little bit quicker. They're not going to love being given more work, but we'll give it to them anyway. And we'll see how that goes. That'll hopefully fix the 1,300 bugs. Uh, Doors 2 has a lot of bugs as well. So let's bring everything in there nicely up to date. We're not going to give it to the office team. We will give it to the core team and that should be fine. We'll start updating you as well and make that a bit of a priority and see how that goes. So we'll hopefully get those out in no time at all. We do have these ports going down here. So again, we'll sort of prioritize one over the other. And this is, you know, this, this new team is freeing things up a little bit. It's doing exactly what I wanted to do which is great news. You're not having your social needs met. Well then go home. It is time for you to go home anyway. So, you know, get out of here, basically. As per usual, we have been nominated and we are still the best employer. Best product goes to us with Longsword 13 and most profitable product goes to, well, was that me? That Canvas 8 was second place. Yeah, so my subsidiary is doing all right for themselves, which is, Really nice, actually. That's uh, that's that's good to know that my subsidiary is is doing all right. I'm still here, right? Yeah, I'm I'm still very much here. I'm 64. Oh, I've got like six months left at this company. I have I have like six months left at this company, and then I'm gone. That is uh, it's really sad. <laughs> it's really sad. I don't like that. I don't I don't want my guy to. I don't want my guy to go. But uh, what do you mean we can't keep up with support? Really? That's that's worrying and surprising, but also I guess it kind of makes sense. A company started selling more shit. Really? Did they now? <laughs> Did they now? <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, suddenly, suddenly, I think we've got a good good little thing going on here. So these guys have been doing 3D editors. They're doing good money. Do I want to buy them? <laughs> That's the question. Do I actually want to do this? Um, I kind of do. I've kind of been building towards it, man. It's going to knock me down from being a billion dollar company. It's 391 million to take them over. But you know what? I'm doing it. We're, we're doing it. We're going to give them, I don't know, give them $150 million to, uh, you know, stay afloat, I guess. There we go. So that brings, I, I've just spent so much money, but they are now my company and that's good. So they're working on an audio tool called Record Shop. It'll be out next December. Hopefully it's good. 
I'll be really annoyed if it isn't. But that does now mean if we look at the bank, I'm still the top. I'm, I'm still up here and I'm still worth $900 million. And I just happen to have two subsidiaries now. <laughs> That's what they get, man. They shouldn't have been messing with me. They shouldn't have. Look, I've played the long con here. You know, I've been slowly chipping away at that company and then boom, it's mine. You wanted to play around with Vector? Well, congratulations. You can play around with the real thing. Enjoy porting Vector to every other operating system for the rest of time. Apparently, I'm heading for bankruptcy. Interesting. I find that hard to believe. My subsidiary is apparently also heading for bankruptcy. Their balance did take a hit, to be fair, but they'll be all right. They'll they they'll manage. Uh, th we're not running out of money. We just happened to spend how much? Let me have a look at my sheet. Minus $547 million. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. I, I will say the update to doors did wonders. We, we have a little bit more money coming in off of that. We are looking to see King Doom Guardians. It'll be into, it'll be out in 2025, which is fair enough. Saturn will probably be out in 2025 as well. Hellshock 3, well, actually, let's have a look here. Hellshock 4 is aiming for 2026. It'll be a 2025 release. We have Vector 9 going out this month. We have Longsword 14 in October next year. We have Canvas 9 in June 2026. That'll probably get pulled back to 2025. And we have Wave 15, December 2025. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're going to leave it there for today, which means that the next episode is going to be the one where my character retires and Nerdrosoft gets taken over by a different different person. Let me keep let me point out. My character is a founder. There's no mechanical function for someone owning a company. I do think it'd be really interesting if there was like a CEO role in the game and there was some influence, like if the CEO had certain traits that affected sort of the company at large. And then if the CEO quits, so basically what's going to happen is, you know, my character leaves, someone else comes in with different traits and it sort of changes the company a little bit. I think it'd be cool. Bit of a broad stroke mechanic, but in, in universe, in the lore of Nerdrosoft, we have a handful of months left with me at the helm. I will retire after 45 years as the CEO. Someone else will take over. Someone else needs to run the core team. And it's probably, it's going to be someone we hire. Realistically, it's going to be someone that we hire to, to run the core team. They will get my old office, which is, um, which is kind of sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad, man. Bob, Newby, and Bella were both bought out years ago. I'm the only one left. What have we got? Let me let me have a quick look. How are we doing? So yeah, 44 years. Renee Hunter's on 41 years. Renee will probably see out, unless she dies, uh, Renee will probably see 45 years as well. We have a lot of people. A lot of people getting ready to retire, though. 19 years. 18 years. Good Lord. That's it's a lot, but it's nothing. It's nothing compared to this. Renee has been with that core team for 41 years. <laughs> All right, let's leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm getting a little bit, getting a little bit choked up. We're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.